Smoke puffs from a student's mouth, dispersing the scent of mango throughout the bathroom. It may seem harmless, but as the vapor leaves their body, chemicals such as nicotine stay. As a school nurse, Jennifer Kleckner understands the health risks of nicotine and vaping. Nicotine is very addictive and uh, it uh, contributes to heart disease. It's hard on the arteries. Similar to traditional cigarettes, vaping contains potentially harmful compounds other than nicotine. The chemicals that break down with the flavorings break down into some nasty compounds. The device costs around $35 and is filled with a pod containing flavorings and nicotine. Each pod costs around $4. A Juul user at Pally who asked to remain anonymous explains the pods. So basically each Juul pod contains 0.7 milliliters with 5% nicotine by weight, which is basically equivalent to one pack of cigarettes or 200 puffs per pod. Uh, I go through about a pod every day, so that's, that's really like a pack a day. There are many different styles of vaping devices. Most of these devices can be filled with oils containing various amounts of chemicals and flavorings known by vapors as juice. One instrument, known as the Juul, is easily concealable and can be purchased at smoke shops, gas stations, and online. Due to its small size, it has become popular with teenage vape users. I vaped in like middle school, but then once Juul became a thing with nicotine, probably started freshman year. However, according to state law, Juul devices and pods can only be sold to customers over the age of 21. This creates limited supply and raises prices on the black market. I'd only sell my jewel to a sixth grader if I could rip them off. Like, you could sell them for like 40 bucks, but if it was like a sixth grader, I'd charge them like 80 to 100 dollars for a jewel. Teenagers vaping brings up other health concerns. Some concern that e cigarettes become kind of a gateway to regular cigarettes. Although illegal for teenagers to possess, these devices have found their way onto the Pali campus. The reason why jewels are so big at Pally right now is because they look like USB drives and also the fact that they're so small you can easily just keep them in your pocket or like a bag. According to the anonymous source, Pally bathrooms are a popular place for vaping. The benefits of jeweling is you walk into the bathroom and you're making friends with some jewel buddies. Vaping in Pally bathrooms is drawing concern from both students and staff. Pally junior Ushana Goyal has r had run-ins with students vaping in Pally bathrooms. Three freshman girls and they were acting kind of suspicious and I didn't know what they were doing and then they turned around and one of them blew a giant cloud of smoke out of her mouth and I was like, first of all, how did 14 year olds get vaping material? Second of all, why aren't they doing it in the school bathroom? I wouldn't want to be around somebody who's, who's vaping as I don't want to inhale stuff that I don't feel safe around. Juul users may not understand that vaping in bathrooms causes other students to be uncomfortable or even scared. I saw that they were vaping. I ran out because I didn't want to use the bathroom. It was scary. With the increased use of Juuls on campus, students may see new regulations be put into place next year. For In Focus, I'm Maddie Duker.